Hello and welcome to SAP Analytics Cloud Training with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In this video session, we will discuss about how to work with point of interest layer using shape files. Shape files are provided by different organization to depict the physical boundary of a particular location on the map. As you can see in this diagram, we have got today from the geographical department of India a shape file. A shape file typically includes a DBF file and SHP file, which is what is important for us to upload into SAP Analytics Cloud. And then we can depict different data points. In fact, the boundaries of different states and areas. As you can see in this diagram, we, with the help of shape file, I am able to depict the different territories and state boundaries within country India. So let us understand how can we work with the shape file with SAP Analytics Cloud to create point of interest layer. I'll switch it over to the system. As you can see in SAP Analytics Cloud, there are three options to create point of interest. In this case, we have used import shape file option. So I've already imported the shape files and created a point of interest from the shape file in my folders. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to use this one to create a map model. So I've already got a geo map in my story and we switch over to the designer panel and quickly add the map layer. And now in the layer type, we are going to choose point of interest. We will now go ahead and select the shape file, which we created using that shape file. So there you go. And the moment I choose that, you will see my map is now loading. Based on the shape file, it is going to depict now different state boundaries within India. There you go. Click on OK. Maybe to give a better look and feel, I will switch it over to the dark gray option in the map. And now you can see how the different state boundaries are depicted by my shape file. System is clearly indicating it. And when I'm hovering my mouse on a particular state, it is also utilizing the state name from my point of interest created in SAP Analytics Cloud to show the state name properly in the system. Now this is also very, very helpful sometime. Let's say I wanted to show different railway tracks or cycling tracks within a particular area or within my plant if I wanted to depict what are all the different boundaries I have for different departments within such a large organization. The shape file is also very, very important. Typically the shape file will be prepared by the architects when your floor plan for the entire company is designed. You can ask your architects for the same and they would be able to provide you to put the physical boundaries on a map for visualization. So with that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want the detailed training on point of interest and SAP Analytics Cloud, feel free to visit us on anubhavtrainings.com. And I will see you in the next video.